Hey Simleys, it's Delicracy here with part 8 of Let's Play The Sims 4 Twins. I'm really excited for this episode because now I'm back from the US. I have made a couple of new household members which I've been telling you guys I wanted to do for ages. It is a maid and a butler and we're going to try out the maid cheat which will make the sim clean up everything in sight pretty much uh, in this LP and see if it actually works. but. Pretty much, first off, we have Esmeralda Shamwow. <laughs> and yes, I made up that last name all by myself. She shouldn't be playing computer games. She should be working and just BT dubs. I'm loving Laurie's outfit. It's so cute. But this is her. She is uh, in fishnets because we wanted to go typical maid style. And she's very... Um, if we just pause it, she's quite beautiful. She's got... A bit of an Asian background in her. She's got beautiful dark hair and a nice bun. And I like the character very much. She is conniving though. She hates children. She's romantic. She's neat and thrifty and business savvy. So she is actually going to be quite a seductive character in this LP. A lot of you guys commented that the maid should try and hit on Lionel to get his money. Uh, Niles, on the other hand, <laughs> Niles the butler over here, already in the kitchen where he should be. <laughs> he's really cute, he's got this little tum-tum, and, uh, Laurie says she's at work, but she's not at work, so let's just... Why do you still say you're at work? Oh, well, we'll see if it says she's at high school. But anyways, if we have a look at him... He's actually evil. Uh, you wouldn't pick it, but he is. <laughs> so it'll be interesting to see uh, how they get along in the household. And I've actually already given them a whole heap of skills. Um, so he's maxed out 10 cooking, gardening, gourmet cooking, handiness, and mixology. And Esmeralda has cooking, gardening, and mixology as well. Oh, and she's level 9 in charisma too, because I wanted her to be quite influential influential i can't say that word oh my god but i just thought i'm gonna put a stereo in here because i'm so sick of that mic playing music that i'm not in the mood to listen to oh uh, where are you stereo 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 where can we can, can we just put this under the tv can we can we yes we can changing this straight away uh let's listen to uh, classical. Okay, I mean, it should change the music. And you know what? We're just going to delete this speaker because it just plays random music that we don't even want. Okay, we're ready to go. Oh, and I almost forgot to say, I totally uh, made a butler's quarter out the back here. I'll post that video too of the room build um, for you guys to see if you'd like to, but... It's just like an area for Niles. He's got a nice little bed, washing basket, and books and stuff, and a nice little coffee mini kitchenette, you could say. I wish we had a mini bar fridge to put in there, maybe later on. Let's try this cheat, though. Um, let's, let's do it. I'm just going to pause this because it's on my other computer. Uh, I did have it up. Oh, no. Oh, here we go. So... To turn maid behavior on, you go control shift C, testing, cheats, true. I can't remember if I already had this. Okay, that's already enabled. And then you go sims.add underscore buff, buff underscore role underscore service NP. C underscore maid. That is like pretty long cheat. Let's just see what it does, if it's going to say anything or... Hmm. I don't like the sound of that because it didn't actually show us. I don't know if this is just a rumor that this works, but... Sims.add underscore buff buff. I might put in the capitals where it says to, just in case. Roll... Service and PC underscore mate. I mean, it should work. I don't know. 
We'll see what happens. Like, will they just will Have she start dinner. cleaning? <laughs> They're already not getting along. They're probably siblings. They're not siblings, but. Is there anything to clean up? Because, I mean, if there was, you should be doing it. Like, cleaning this up. That fridge needs to be replaced so no one dies. Uh, I don't think that worked, you guys. Wait. She's cleaning that up, so it could be working. I don't know. Maybe just because she's neat. But let's uh, pop it in for him, too. I don't know. Well, I guess. If it works, it works. If it doesn't... Oh, look! He's going to mop up a puddle. Okay, I think this cheat is working, even though it doesn't say anything. Meanwhile, Lionel's just having a great old time over here. I think he would like Niles to make him something. Yeah, she's cleaning everything up. And then she just stopped cleaning up, so... Whatever, Trevor! <laughs> okay. We'll just get it to clean it up. Um, Alright, so he's going to cook some grilled cheese. Whoopsies. Oh my gosh, Esmeralda, you suck at being a mage. She's probably like, I don't actually want to clean ever anything anyway. Well, he's off to work, uh, Lionel. He's going to go to work hungry, but oh well. Esmeralda here should probably... I don't know if these two should get along or not, but... Okay, she's going to clean up that. What's he doing? He's cleaning up stuff too, so I, I think we're working. I love the classical music too, because it makes this house sound or seem so classy. And if you guys are wondering where Esmeralda's going to sleep, she's going to sleep in this guest room that we'd already created up here. Kind of because I knew that I wanted to have some kind of maid in here, so... Yeah, 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 yeah. Um... Let's get Esmeralda to, like, use Lionel's computer while he's out. Because she would probably do that. Because she's shady as... Let's maybe... Can we web... Watch funny videos. Uh, research gardening. Research pickup lines. Maybe she'll just browse the web as if she's just looking into all of his private stuff. So she's just going to be shady as... Let's get a picture of her on here. And her plans to get to inherit the house before the girls. Drive them out of the house. Have you done all of your cleaning? Aren't you fabulous, Niles? Aren't you fabulous indeed? Well, maybe we'll cook up some meals for when, like a meal when the girls get home in case they're hungry. Because that's his, uh, what he's meant to be doing. And we can, like, make everything butternut knocky yum. Teared cake, cool. Lobster tortellini, Monte Cristo sandwich. Let's do that. Baked Alaska. Uh, okay. We'll just have some things in the fridge ready to go for them if they want to. What's this? Excellent garden salad. Well, that's by Aria. That's still there. Excellent, excellent. I'm going to speed things up a little bit right now. Um... You know, I want the girls to get home and they're going to need some sleep when they get home. Oh my god, Niles, you are a crazy man. <laughs> what so? That was really impressive. Could watch Niles cook all day. And yeah, I named him Niles Butler after the nanny, Niles. <laughs> I love the nanny. It's so good. Okay, the girls should be getting home from school at 2-ish or 2.30-ish, I think. So, um, we might get them to go see Jace, maybe. I was thinking that maybe Jace, Ara will ask Jace to be a boyfriend or he'll ask her out. And then Laurie discovers that they're together and is really not a happy Jan. Uh, did he just place those in there, like inside the microwave? Because... Niles, I don't mean to be rude, but <laughs> you can't just go placing things inside things. And maybe he can make a dessert as well, because I've always wanted to see the baked Alaska 
actually. So, Ambrosia. Oh, you need the Potion of Youth for this one. Then you could make that. That'd be cool. Family size. They have sweets. That would be so awesome to have someone always cooking yummy things for you. He is cooking in the microwave again. It's like, he's like, I don't care. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> oh, oh gosh, what is Esmeralda doing? She have a nice time snooping around the office, like using all of his stuff. She would totally do that. <laughs> She's like, when I am his wife, he will show me how to use this properly. Mwahaha. Mwahaha. Okay, she's acquired the logic skill from that, which is good. I want to see what this looks like when it's finished. Should be finished. Whoa, cool. It's like all swirly. What quality is this? All right, let's pop that in here as well. Okay, nice one. Well, we might get Niles to uh, have a little chinwag to Esmeralda. Maybe he can propose a crazy scheme of how they're going to overtake Lionel's fortune. And maybe secretly these two are actually lovers. And then she's going to hit on Lionel, try and get his money. I don't know, maybe they're just friends. She's saying that she doesn't like him, so okay, we'll just make them friends then. Funny, do an impression. Just get their relationship up. Okie dokie. Girls at home, Ari is back. She's exhausted, so is Laurie. Let's go up to bed. At least have a snoozle. Oh, I wish she wasn't still posing like she was at work. But we'll get her to go to sleep anyways. Get them to run upstairs. Get that energy up just a little bit. Um enough to be able to go out and go see a friend what a day of work he's earned 2200 simoleons crazy 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 let's get esmeralda to hit on him just a little bit just have a little bit of a flat maybe well i mean we can't flirt hold on if we've just moved them in together do they they barely know each other. Okay, so she needs to maybe compliment his outfit and flatter because she's very charismatic. And then maybe brighten his day. She's feeling evil and flirty, so she's in the perfect mood for seduction. <laughs> He's just giving her nothing. He's feeling pretty focused. It's like, take a seat, Esmeralda. How did you find your first day? Well, I've been working very hard, Lionel. <laughs> Nuts. Describe a new idea while she's inspired. Oh, wait, wait. She's inspired. He's not inspired. My bad. <laughs> He's like, what's going on? <laughs> okay. Tell an engaging story. This music's intense. Taking a few photos there. Okay, let's let's go for a move. 
Let's just see if he'll go for it, because you never know. Sometimes Sims do go for it straight off the bat. Sometimes they don't like it, but she can try. <laughs> oh, Flimon. He is digging it. Maybe blow a kiss. He is so easy to hit on, my gosh. He's been so lonely for so long. Oh, oh, here we go. Now he is sitting down with her. I kind of like that their romance might get higher than their friendship because it's meant to be just on the surface that she's hitting on him. We do a bit of a sexy pose. She's so, like, naughty. She's really naughty. Let's get Arya up and to go to the bathroom. Laurie. Oh, we can't do anything with Laurie. I'm going to have to reset her, I think. Little glitches like that are pretty annoying. All right, all right. Up to bed. Hugo. All right, well, I think we'll get Arya to go out on a date. She needs fun, she needs hunger, and she needs to go to bed soon, so we won't stay out for too long, but let's go out with Jace. And uh, we'll make them boyfriend and girlfriend, and I think Laurie might realize uh, what's going on and not be very happy about it. Okay, where should we go? Where should we go? I do like the park hangout, but let's go to the park at Willow Creek instead. Because I feel like we've been to the Oasis Springs Park quite a bit. Okay. Woo! All right. Oh, she looks so pretty. I mean, she looks grumpy, but she looks really pretty. Romance, maybe give him a kiss straight up because, you know, she wants a boyfriend and he's been so nice to her. Oh, cute. Reveal the crush. And then let's get something to eat from the barbecue area. Hopefully he's a bit hungry too so they can both have something. A grill, a hamburger. I think she's still flirting with him. Oh, she's just chatting. Okay, bye guys. Goodbye. We didn't. We weren't even here with you, but we'll say goodbye anyway. How pretty are these toilets over here? It's so nice with these chandelier things and the tiles and... I was about to say that toilet looks really dirty, but I think it's just the shadow of it. Which is okay. Cooking up a storm, Arya. When she has something to eat, she'll feel a little bit better and hopefully we can... You know, go steady with Jace. She's feeling a little bit tense. Oh, because she had a stressful school day. Because of a hard test. Well, it's so weird how they sniff things. They're like, <sighs> who sniffs their food like that in real life? I don't. I don't do that. Where are you, Jace? You didn't leave, did he? Oh my god, you are not talking to Alicia. Girl, get away from our man. <gasps> oh, he's such a... He is such a skis. He is such a skis. Alright, alright, alright. Let's go back and just get the flirt on, kiss his neck. 
And he better not be flirting on this lady, Juliet, because that's who Lionel was trying to get with. He was on the tune with. She's a tough one to get, though, Juliet. I mean, really tough. Are we an A-plus student yet? Oh. You can give us some privacy, Juliet. She's like, oh, you don't have any money anyway. <laughs> okay, let's monkey around a little bit, and then I think... Thank you. Sweet talk a little bit, and then I think us to be boyfriends, see what happens. We'll say that Jace actually asked her out there. Because we want him to be the bad guy, not Arya. Oh. <laughs> they are cute together, but he's a total player. Are they boyfriend girlfriend yet? No, like surely not. That didn't just happen because there's no pop up. Oh my gosh, that is it. There was no. They are boyfriend girlfriend, but there was no exciting anything. Kiss cheek. <gasps> oh my gosh, you can exchange promise rings? No way. No way. That's awesome. I don't know if I want to do that yet because I don't feel like, well, his love for her isn't genuine, so I don't want her to do that. Oh, it's her bestie, Cassandra. Love this girl. We were thinking about giving her a makeover as well, so maybe we'll do that in another part. God, they are talking in sync then. Oh, Laurie, if we could bring you here right now, but that's so annoying. I think, um, can't we make a travel? If we go to map, no, it doesn't work like that. Yeah, we'll have to reset her. Oh, well. Oh, I kind of want them to exchange promise rings because it's so cute. Embrace. Let's find a nice romantic spot. If we can get them to a romantic spot, we will. And then it'll be even worse. Oh, he should cheat with Laurie and then she find them cheating. That's what should happen. She'd be like, oh, they, we exchanged promise rings and it'll be so sad. Let's go over here. At midnight on a school night as well. How romantic. So romantic. Stop chatting. Come on. We want to get these promise rings happening. Oh, Mouse is texting me. Mouse is uh, another Sima YouTuber. I don't know where she is, but... As in, I don't know where Arya is. I know where Mouse is. Okay, maybe blow a kiss from here, and then we're going to exchange promise rings under this beautiful night sky. Where is the moon? Well, there's no moon today, but... You know. Where are you, Arya? Oh, she's really tired. I know, I know I need to take care of her needs more, but... This is exchanging promise rings. This is an exciting moment for her. Can you hurry up, though? Oh, he's not going to wait, like, the whole freaking night, though. Okay. She'll get there in the end. Okay. He's tired as well. Shoot. Mm. Date complete. And exchange promise rings. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that's beautiful. So what does that mean if we go back to their relationship? They're promised to each other, so it's even worse if it doesn't work out. Just 
Jace just promised himself to Arya. Well, you are a naughty boy, Jace. I can tell you that now. Anyway, guys, I'm going to finish off this part right here. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon.